In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent catastrophic motor failure on your BMW. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F33. Now if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now one of the huge flaws in the N55, N54 and S55 motors is the ability for the belt to get sucked into the crank seal which can destroy your engine. So how does this happen? Well the oil filter housing gasket is known to leak on these engines and over time when it does, that's when the real trouble starts. You see, the oil filter housing sits right above the belt, and what can happen is when that gasket leaks, oil drips down, it can get on the belt, which causes it to walk off the harmonic balancer. Now, when that happens, the belt or pieces of the belt can get sucked into the seal of the crank hub. Now, I almost had this happen to me a couple years ago when both my valve cover and my oil filter housing gaskets were leaking and about to cause me major issues. Now, I got those gaskets replaced and I also needed a new tensioner, idler, pulley, and belt at the same time. And I am extremely fortunate that my belt didn't come off. So what do you do if you wanna protect against this issue? Well, Keys Motorsports came up with this. Now, what this is, is a crank seal guard, and it's machined out of a solid block of aluminum. Now, this thing this thing is absolutely gorgeous, and it's, it's a shame that you're never gonna see it once it's installed. Now, you can find other crank seal guards, but they're usually cheaply made. They tend to either not fit correctly, vibrate when you're driving, or even fail over time. Now, as I said, the seal guard from Keys Motorsports is machined out of a solid block of aluminum, which means it's gonna fit perfectly and it's going to last. Now, the great thing about the seal guard is that it fits the N55, N54, and S55 motors, which covers a ton of BMW models. All right, let's get out to the garage and get this installed. Now, before you start this install, you're gonna wanna make sure that your engine is cool. Otherwise, you can risk getting seriously burned because of the tight spot that you're working in. Now, I'm currently in the middle of a few projects, which is why I have my front bumper heat and heat exchanger removed. But for this install, you do not need to remove your front bumper or heat exchanger. The only thing that you need to remove is your air intake. Now, after you remove your air intake, you're gonna to wanna to take a picture of how the belt is routed. This way, when it comes time to put it all back together, you're not left guessing. The next step is to remove the tension on the belt. This is done by using a T60 and an Allen key. You're gonna to wanna to put the T60 on the tensioner and push down with a wrench. This is going to shift the tensioner back and allow you to put an Allen key in to hold the tensioner in place. Now you can start taking off the belt and I would start with one of the pulleys that's smooth. It makes it a whole lot easier than starting with one of the ones that has the ridges. Next, remove the eight E10 Torx that secure the harmonic balancer. Now you can remove the harmonic balancer and depending on how many miles you have on your engine, this may be a little stuck, but don't worry, it does come off. All right, so as you can see, it is kind of dirty in there and a lot of that is because of that oil leak that I talked about earlier. And so basically what happens if I zoom out here a little bit, so you have your oil filter housing up here and your belt runs through, right? So you have oil that kind of drips down, gets on the belt, and as you can see, I do have some oil that's on the engine here. On the block, I have some oil over here. 
and I do have some oil right by the crank hub. So this we're gonna clean up. We're gonna use uh, some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber and just kind of get all that cleaned up before we put the seal guard on. But just, I mean, if you look at like all of this and I clean this up too. So this is, this is a semi cleaned up version. I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning too before I put the belt back on. But um, just, you know, just know this is a real issue. So this is a really, really good way to protect your engine. Now, here are the two bolts that we're gonna also remove so that we can put on the seal guard, okay? Now is a great time to clean your crank hub and the harmonic balancer with a little isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber. So that looks pretty good, looks pretty clean, I think. Next, remove the two E12s by your crank hub. Now, a great configuration for your wrench is to actually go from a quarter inch to the E12. That's gonna make it a whole lot easier to fit the wrench in such a tight space. All right, so now you can put on the Keys Motorsports seal guard. Use the two E12 bolts that came from Keys Motorsports, and you're gonna to wanna to torque them down to 22 Newton meters. Now you'll wanna use a, sim, a smaller quarter inch torque wrench if you have one, as fitting a regular torque wrench in this confined space is gonna be really tough. Man, that looks amazing. It's a shame you're never gonna see it. Now it's time to install the harmonic balancer. And when you're putting it back, you're gonna wanna sit it on the lip of the crank hub. Now you're gonna to wanna to torque down the eight E10s to 35 Newton meters. And they're gonna to wanna to be tightened down in a very specific order so that it seats properly. Here's a picture of the order that you're gonna to wanna to tighten them down. All right, so basically the order that this is gonna go in is it's gonna go here, 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 and here. Now you can install the belt. And I like to start with the harmonic balancer since it's the largest. That way you can weave it through the other pulleys. Now make sure that the belt is fully seated on all the pulleys and it should be pretty tight. You're just gonna wanna make sure that the belt is in the middle of those pulleys. Next, take your T60 and put a little tension on the tensioner, just enough to remove the Allen key and then slowly release the tensioner. All right, and again, just after you release the tension on the tensioner pulley, just go back through, make sure that everything is seated correctly. You don't wanna shred a belt, so just double, triple verify that the belt is secure on there. All right, so the last step is to reinstall your air intake. All right, so as you saw, installing the crank seal guard from Keith Motorsports is really easy and does not require really any special tool. Now, it is a tight space to work in if you still have your radiator and fan in place, but it can absolutely be done. This is also a great time to do a little preventative maintenance by replacing your tensioner idler pulley and belt, which Keys Motorsports also has as a maintenance kit. Now, as always, I put links in the description below to all the products, tools, and specs needed for this install. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.